in the most revered position in the regulatory body. She earned her BA in economics from Case Western Reserve University and her JD from Yale Law School. Formerly, she also served as the director of the Financial Markets Working Group at the George Mason University's Cater Center. Most notable on the Senate Richard Shelby staff on the Senate Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs. In that position, she worked on financial regulatory reforms following the financial crisis of 2008, as well as oversight of the regulatory implementation of the Dodd-Frank Act. We are quite confident that today's session will be enlightening, as well as remarkable for our audience across Asia. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you to the SRCC Business Conclave. I welcome the opportunity to be with you today. I have to start with my standard disclaimer, which is that I'm a commissioner at the US Securities and Exchange Commission, but my views represent my own views and not necessarily those of the SEC or my fellow commissioners. The last year has been a challenging one as COVID has raced across the world. It sickened and killed many, shut down numerous businesses, and isolated people from coworkers and loved ones. Nevertheless, facing a worldwide challenge has, unite, has united the world, even as it has physically kept us apart. We have come to appreciate both our shared vulnerabilities and the strength that comes from working through challenges together. Technology has enabled us to see one another even when travel isn't possible. It enables me to be with you all today, even though I'm a world away, and, and to get to share a few minutes of this conference with you. Yet, as last week's drama with the Ever Given illustrates, we're still residents of the physical world, and a ship blocking the Suez Canal still has real consequences. So how do I, as a regulator, navigate this hybrid world? I'll offer a few thoughts on that before giving you a little advice as you get ready to embark on your future careers. The Securities and Exchange Commission is one of many financial regulators in the United States. We play an important role in regulating the stock markets, financial professionals who engage in those markets, and public company and investment company disclosures. We're almost 90 years old. Now, I don't know about the 90 year olds in your life, but the 90 year olds in my life don't love technology. They're not that comfortable with the tools of the present. They like the tools of the past better. The SEC is like that too. We're only slowly moving away from the paper-based world into a more digital one. COVID has nudged us along this spectrum, the technology spectrum, and digital assets, also known as crypto, are also helping to nudge us along. Yet it still takes a lot to turn the regulatory ship to embrace new technologies for our own work and that of the firms and the people we regulate and to renew the regulatory framework so that it allows people to innovate. Financial firms, for example, should be able to communicate more effectively with their customers, which means using mobile technology not thick paper disclosure documents. And public company disclosure, disclosures should be machine readable. One of the things that drew me to the job I'm in now is the chance to see people's lives improved as investors grow their wealth and entrepreneurs build companies with capital raised in the markets we regulate. Technology can help here too. It can be used to make investing more accessible to more people. It also can make it easier for more businesses to get capital. That's, that's good not only for the people building those businesses, but for the communities they serve. Our capital markets are the deepest and best in the world and companies and investors from all over the world come to participate in those markets. I suspect that some of you watching today will one day be participating in the US markets. As you embark on your careers, remember that you can make the biggest difference by finding what makes you unique. Every person here has something unique to contribute to the world. 
a contribution that's based on your personality, skills, education, experience, and relationships. Take those unique gifts and find a place where they will be appreciated and used. Whether you're part of a decentralized network spread across the world, a global company listed in the US, or a smaller company with large ambitions, or maybe even a regulatory organization like mine, you can make a difference not only in your own life, but in the lives of others. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your conference, and I hope that someday some of us will be able to meet in person. Thank you. That was truly remarkable, ma'am. We are glad and fascinated by your insights in the financial arena. We are truly privileged to have you join us and are confident that you will benefit immensely from this exchange. As we all are, we all, we all are benefit from your words. Thank you so much for reserving your valuable time for today's exchange. Thank you, ma'am.